A complete blood count or a full blood count is a very common blood test used to evaluate the composition and concentration of various cellular parameters of blood. Although it sounds like a single test, actually a full blood count consists of series of different tests. These are some of those tests included in a CBC or FBC. Full blood count is a very powerful diagnostic tool to identify a variety of hematological and non-hematological conditions in the body. In this video we are going to look at the red cell distribution width or RDW, which is an automatically measured parameter by the automated hematology analyzer. Red cell distribution width is a measurement of the range in the volume and size of your red blood cells. Normally, a person's red blood cells should all be roughly the same size. But in a condition called anisocytosis, there are red blood cells in unequal sizes. The abnormal red blood cell sizes observed in anisocytosis can be caused by several different conditions like anemia, hereditary spherocytosis, thalassemia, vitamin B12 deficiency and cardiovascular disease. The RDW value reflects the variability in red cell diameter. High RDW values mirror a large range in red cell size. The RDW can provide insight into the basis of anemia because some processes increase its value while other do not. The red cell distribution width is a measurement derived from the red blood cell distribution curves generated on automated hematology analyzers. The two RDW measurements currently in use are the red cell distribution width coefficient of variation and the red cell distribution width standard deviation. The red cell distribution width coefficient of variation is a calculation based on both the width of the distribution curve and the mean cell size. It is calculated by dividing the standard deviation of the mean cell size by the MCV or mean corpuscular volume of the red cells and multiplying by 100 to convert to a percentage. Normal range for the RDWCV is approximately 11% to 15%. Because it is a calculation, the red cell distribution width coefficient of variation is dependent not only on the width of the distribution curve, but also the MCV of the red cell population, and may not always reflect the actual variation in red cell size. Therefore, you need to keep in mind that a homogeneous population of red cells with a narrow distribution curve and low MCV may have an elevated RDWCV and a heterogeneous population of red cells with a broad distribution curve and a high MCV may have a normal red cell distribution width coefficient of variation. The red cell distribution width standard deviation is an actual measurement of the width of the red cell distribution curve in femtoliters. The width of the distribution curve is measured at the point that is 20% above the baseline. Since the red cell distribution width standard deviation is an actual measurement, it is not influenced by the MCV and more accurately reflects the red cell size variance. The normal red cell distribution width standard deviation range for adults is 40 to 55 femtoliters. The RDW is used along with the red cell indices to describe a population of red blood cells. The RDW test is commonly used to diagnose anemia, a condition in which your red blood cells can't carry enough oxygen to the rest of your body. These are the most possible six combinations of red cell deviation width with MCV that classify almost all major possible causes of anemia. From the next video we will talk about the examples for these cases. So stay connected with us.